Our friends from Chesapeake Bay Academy are back with us today. And the last time we talked, we talked about executive functioning. Peg Jensen is back with us today to talk about the importance of this, that set of skills that uh, we learned last time with Danielle, that executive function controls things like our working memory, organizational skills, emotional control. And, you know, if something is wrong with your elect, uh, executive functioning or it's not as strong, then a lot can be wrong in your life, in your academic life, in your home life, because we learned last time how much executive functioning is responsible for whether we go through the day smoothly or hit a lot of bumps in the road. So in the second part of our discussion about executive functioning, we want to talk about, okay, so if there is a problem, what kinds of things can we do? Little steps, big steps, and how do we get started? Well, the first thing you have to do is you have to find out, you have to establish the fact that executive functioning literally consists of probably 11 or 12 minor skills. Yeah. There's those that are broken down from thinking to doing, mm -hmm. like from planning something to emotional control, responding to your behavior, not being impulsive. Yeah. So the first step is to have some type of assessment to find out what are your strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. um, and once you do that, there are specific things you can do geared towards those skills specifically to help improve. We all have strengths and weaknesses. Sure. Um, so. Once you determine that, then you can put things into place. Like, for instance, um, you, you all were talking about your, your college and, and your learning experiences. Mm -hmm. If I were to ask you, what are the uh, lakes, the, the superior lakes of Michigan? The Great Lakes, call. I can tell you right now. Okay, but if I told you to use the word homes, right. uh, it would be Huron, Huron uh, Ontario, Ontario, Michigan, Look at Chris Reckling. Michigan, Erie, 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 and Lake Superior. Yeah. And then most people could remember those things. <laughs> most people, yes. <laughs> um, but no, but those are the things you have to practice. And yeah. executive skills are just the same thing um, as any other thing you're trying to learn. You need to practice them. Mm -hmm. uh, if, and, and you have to remember that they develop according to age. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't give a four-year-old the same instructions you give a teenager. Sure. You, know, you give them one, or some teenagers, but you give them one instruction at a time. Mm -hmm. um, and the most important thing developmentally when, when you're working with young children is to make sure that when you give an instruction, you look at somebody in the eye. If the child has a difficult time, you have them repeat it back to you. Mm -hmm. um, that's just one thing you can do. The other thing is you can get them to think in the future. Mm -hmm. Like if you're trying to teach um, a six-year-old about social reciprocity and, and uh, manners, you can prompt them ahead of time. So if auntie brings you a gift today, what are the things that you would say? Mm -hmm. You have to get them to think in the future Yeah to get their memory. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to say thank you. Right. Not when I already have this one. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Hopefully that's not what comes I out. I have the blue guy. But the important thing is you have to find out where your strengths and weaknesses are. Um, we're here all summer. So we yeah. do these evaluations all summer. We have a summer program at Chesapeake Bay Academy as well. Okay. Um, so the first step is finding out where your strengths and weaknesses are, and then literally we can put in a tailorized program for those specific needs. needs. And those, that assessment I know can happen through Chesapeake Bay yes, as well. There's an assessment center there, or you can ask your pediatrician about being referred. So a lot of ways that you can have that happen, but if you want to learn more information about taking some steps to improve your executive function, whether you have an identified and already diagnosed you know, issue, or I mean, anybody could benefit from sharpening their skills to be organized and Absolutely. in control. Call 497-6200 or you can log on to cba-va.org to talk about their summer programs and the resources there. Peg, thank you very much. Thank you for having us.